Hello everyone to Billy Reads. This is going to be amazing and annoying and just downright crazy. Now, first of all, I've read a couple of chapters out of this book first. And it is just so weird. It is been known to me and some of my friends as the worst fan fiction in the world. It is known as My Immortal. Yes. I will be reading out in the way it has been written, so with all the bad grammar and that. Now, I've debated many times of why this is a bad fan fiction, so you just see for yourself. I'll put uh, the link in the description for all the videos. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give you my immortal. Chapter 1 Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness, Dementia Ravenway, and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name, with purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid-back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Okay, and then some weird stuff the author's rip. <coughs> I'm not related to Jared Way, but I wish I was, because, because, is spelled wrong, because he's a major fucking hottie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm in the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, even though I just said you're a vampire. And I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes on there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it, and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick. White foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put my middle finger at them. Hey, Ebony! shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing! He said shyly. But then, I heard my friends call me. I had to go away. And that is chapter one. Chapter two. The next day, I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my cough coffin. Why didn't she have a bed? Jesus. And drank some blood from a bottle I had. As you do. My coffin was black ebony. And inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and took off my giant MCR t-shirt which I used for pyjamas. <laughs> Hardcore! <laughs> Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, <laughs> combat boots and black fishnets on. <laughs> I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. Kind of messy? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My friend, Willow, and the author's book, Raven, this is you, woke up then and grinned at me. She flipped her long waist length raven black hair with pink streets and opened her forest green eyes. She put on a Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini fishnets. Oh, with her, with a black mini fishnet and pointy high heel boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick white foundation and black eyeliner oh my fucking god I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday she said excitedly yeah so I said blushing do you like Draco she asked as we went out of the slivering common room and into the great hall no I so fucking don't I shouted yeah right she exclaimed just then Draco walked up to me Hi, he said. Hi, I replied flirtily. So let's try again. Hi, I replied flirtily. Guess what, he said. What, I asked. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. Oh my fucking God, I screamed. I love GC. They are my favorite band, besides MCR. Well, do you want to go with me? Draco asked. I gasped. Chapter 3 
On the night of the concert, I put my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put a matching fishnet on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then. So I slit one of my wrists. What the fuck? It's been ages since I've read this. So I keep on my... <laughs> I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding and I listened to some GC. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood so I was ready to go to the concert. <laughs> I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. Hi, Draco, I said in a depressed voice. Oh, let me try it again. Hi, Draco, I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony, he said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666 <laughs> and flew to the place with the concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs <laughs> when we got there. We both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You come in cold, you're covered in blood. They're all so happy and you've arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mom. She sets you free into this life, sang Joel. I don't own the lyrics to that song, which is in brackets. I felt like I should include that for grammar. Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looked sad. What's wrong? I asked as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. Wow, she, this is... <laughs> really? asked Draco sensitively. And he put his arm around me, all protective. Really? I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. I hate, I fucking hate that little bitch, I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got GC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back to Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into... The Forbidden Forest. Okay, I'm just going to say this now. We're going to do five chapters of video. Just keep them quite short and that. Because I'm doing animation for my home. So yeah. Chapter four. Draco! I shouted. The fuck do you think you do? Uh, the fuck do you think you are doing? Draco didn't answer. But he stopped the flying car and he walked out of it. I walked out of it too. Curiously. What the fucking hell? I asked angrily. Ebony, he asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close, and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing colour contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness. And then suddenly, I didn't feel mad anymore. And then, suddenly, just as I... Draco kissed me passionately, just as I, Draco. <laughs> Is that like I, Robot, with Draco Malfoy? <laughs> Draco climbed on top of me, and we started to make out kingly against a tree. He took off my top, and I took off his clothes. I even took off my bra. <laughs> then he put his finger into my, you know what, 
and we did it for the first time. Well, how romantic. <laughs> oh, 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 I screamed. I was beginning to get an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere, and my pale body became all warm. And then, who the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? It was Dumbledore. Backdoor Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore made, and Dumbledore made in Draco, and I follow him. He kept shouting at us angri angrily. Anarchist fools! He shouted. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. <laughs> Draco confronted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. Oh, I have sent you in the castle in the Forbidden Forest! He yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dancers? Asked Professor McGonagall, you mediocre dancers. <laughs> How dare you? Demanded Professor Snape. Sounds a lot like Gollum when I do it. <laughs> and then Draco shrieked. Because I love her! Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad. But Professor Snape said, Fine, very well. I'm going to go up to our rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess. I lied. Oh. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels when I came out. Why are you wearing shoes if you're going to go to bed? <laughs> okay. Draco was standing in front of the bathroom and he started to sink. I just want to live by good Charlotte. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight, and he reluctantly went back to his room. Okay, that's the end of episode one of My Immortal for you guys. Hope you enjoy. I will carry this on if I get a positive reaction. So, I see you next time, guys. Have a good time, and au revoir.